this episode of Reverse Gear. I review the Warrener. A very special star in our reasonably priced car. And I race a man around a track. Here it is. The Volcar Warrener. It's a cracking car this. So I got the chance to take it for a spin. In the snow, this car handles like a dream. This car in particular is being sold for 120,000. That's because it has the Rally Sport pack. And quite frankly, it's a bargain. It really is just such a pleasure to drive. It keeps you on the road but it doesn't restrict what you do, which I really enjoy in a car. It lets you have fun. The suspension just glides over the bumps. Now we at Reverse Gear have got the budget to afford some drones. The only problem was these were quite old and they packed up. six cylinders and is a five-speed gearbox. It has an acceleration time of 6.1 seconds from 0 to 60. And quite frankly, I love it. So much so that I bought it. Now after that short review, I think deserves the best interview we've ever done. Hello Jesus, call me Jesus, uh nah, nah done sound right. I must of course recommend your book, The Bible 2 Uncut, also this uh, burning bush do you call it, um, you've supplied me is fucking great, it's strong I'll tell you that much. I suppose we better play the tape. Has anyone got any crisps? Did he just... Oh, never mind. Must be fucking seeing things. I mean, really, if you think about it, cars are like mechanical horses, aren't they? You just give them petrol and they go. You just got to look after them. Keep them in their stable. And they'll work for you. Talk about 
talking horses. That reminds me of this one girl I met in school. God, it's funny. <laughs> Oh, it's too, it's too good. <laughs> oh Christ, here comes the follow through. Hang on, just give me a minute. Oh my God, this. So good. Oh, he's got neons. Isn't that novelty? Oh, and he's broken one of our lights. And across the line. Jesus, you must come back. Daddy needs your help with Cluedo. Quite an impressive guest, I'm sure you'll agree. Anyway, Jesus did it in a 158, putting him behind Patrick McCreary and Trevor but he doesn't really count now I got a chance to drive a monster truck and I just couldn't turn it down I've longed to do this since I was a little kid it was fucking awesome Punish the car market with your shit. Although, albeit said, and I did think it at the time, the cars were quite resilient. So I don't know if the uh, monster truck tyres were slightly deflated, but uh, they didn't seem to crush up as much as I'd have liked. It didn't stop me from having fun. Though. You may notice that the flag changes every so often. That's because we were told off at reverse gear for not being ethnically diverse enough. I tried to crash through a wooden wall, but that failed. So I went back to the cars. These cars were kindly donated uh, from the Mafia, so big shout out to them. Thank you very much. Without you, we uh, we couldn't really afford any more cars. Anyway, I digress. The Cheval Marshal has a top speed of 85 miles an hour. Its acceleration is from 0 to 60. Four and a half seconds. It's all wheel drive and all wheel steering, and it has a brilliant V8 engine with five gears. I 
I'm sure someone just screamed from that car. Nah, it can't be. You go mad in your old age. Look at all that mess. Thank God I'm not clearing it up. The producer told me to come back during the night. So I did. And they'd set up a beautiful course for me. Also strangely provided by the Mafia. Thanks again to Enzo Benelli. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I don't want a horse's head in my bed. God, this never gets dull. So yet again, generously donated two adders and said we could go to town. So I did. He said they really needed to be destroyed because they contained evidence or, or something. So he told us, crush them as much as you can. thought one better than that. Where's your evidence now? Time for another challenge, methinks. This time, a rally one. And for this, we have a new addition to the Reverse Gear team. His name's Jerome. So, Jerome. I was planning to do a little rally challenge. You buy a car, I buy a car. We trick it out with the money that's left. And we race them around this track. Sounds like a plan. You're a man of few words, aren't you, Jerome? Jerome, I extend my hand and welcome you into the reverse gear team. You And with that, we parted ways. So we were each given five grand. The crew ran over to see how he was. 
Luckily, he was still breathing. So I've managed to buy this with my money. It cost me three grand, and it's quite obviously the Rhapsody. And quite frankly, it was a steal at that price. Now, in all fairness, there are a few things that are wrong with the car. The gears are clunky, the temperature gauge is off the scale, but I did personalise the number plate beforehand, with my own money, I must admit. But drive-wise, it's beautiful. You can look past the gears. Also, the clutch is a bit of a bitch. But for three grand, I can't complain. So that gives me exactly two grand to spec it up to what I classify as good. And he better be scared. The main thing I've done is soup the engine up and added more exhausts. Meanwhile, as Jerome was boring everyone, I managed to lay my hands on the blister compact. It cost me one and a half grand, and in all fairness, it has taken some beating. But 1,500 means I've got 3,500 to spend. The only problem is, it's making quite a clunking noise, and it's a bit worrying. I've no doubt it's nothing, but best have that looked at, just in case. So anyway, yeah, what I was... Oh, oh shit. Oh, not here. Well, this is a fucking pain in the arse. I wonder why it was so cheap. That must be what the clunking noise was. Luckily, I carry a tool that no man should be without. Take that, you bastard. We should cut to when the car's actually fixed. And fixed it was. I spent most of my money getting the bloody thing to work again. I also spent it on a nice lick of blue paint. And the bloke very kindly managed to buff out most of the dents. So rally day dawned and Jerome's lap was up. After kicking up most of the world's mud, he set off. And quite frankly, I must say, his one looked a lot cooler. That was not my fault. The car decided to turn. Now let's get around this track in one piece. Cyclists work harder and get a car. We thought he'd been killed, but yeah. No. Oh, 
bastard thing. Steer in the right direction, you tit. Considering this is my first time around this track, I think I'm doing pretty well. I forgot to mention, I pimped out the horn too. was a little worse for wear. But hey, I thought I did well. Unfortunately, when my lap was up, the heavens opened. Come on, I cannot let him beat me. Fucking dear. At least I've been round this track a couple of times. Basically, I'm doing what I paid for. Over the jungle. Very smooth. Very smooth indeed. shot that. That's going to cost me precious time I didn't want to lose. Fuck it, I'm taking a shortcut. I can see my house from up here. I had to crack that joke. Who parks a fucking dumper truck in the way? Round the last corner, thank God. So near the end. This is gonna be bloody close. I pink me on there as well. I'm finished. And now we should take a look at the lap times. Well, maybe I'll need a cigarette first. Unfortunately, I lost. Now, we at Reverse Gear came up with a really clever idea. It's a truck. A monster truck at that. Reverse gear 
have made ourselves a boat truck. His speed is slightly reduced due to the fact that there's a big yacht on the back. But it's not as if you'd know this. I've been guaranteed by the makers that you can drive this in any body of water and it will flow. However, the people who made this were from reverse gear, so I don't know how trustworthy they are. But it seems cool enough for me to give it a go. So here I am, driving up to the docks to test this baby out. Here we go. I went to swim to safety. And I found a boat along the way. God, I could do with a nice refreshing beer. My beer of choice is Loggers. I decided to drive in slowly, rather than jump in. And that seemed to work at first. Oh my God, we're floating. Right, let's see if this thing works. Come on, you bastard thing. Accelerate. Steer, at least. I think maybe the monster truck's too heavy. This isn't working. I think we better move on. I recently passed my flying test, so I'm now a qualified pilot. Now the producers at Reverse Gear provided me with the perfect thing to review. God knows why they trusted me. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Neither. It's the flying yachtsman. Sorry, I had to do that joke. Now, of course, this isn't your usual reverse gear review. But I couldn't turn up the, the offer that was being presented to me. This is one of the most amazing things I have ever piloted in my life. It really is a pleasure. I mean, the rumbles were heard all over the place. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, shit.
If you have any ideas for future episodes, feel free to write them in the comments section. And also, leave a like and a subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and good night.